Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than nine years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources like my Thursday Tips blog, my DVDs, books, virtual learning, and more, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's feeling like you're missing out on all the fun, you can easily join our wonderful world of guitar with my Learn to Play Guitar in a Day program at marlenesmusic.com. Subscribe, follow, and invite your friends to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. Now, on to today's tip. Today's tip is Easy Guitar Tablatures for the Holidays. Christmas songs in tablature can be beautiful. And if this is your first holiday tablature experience, then you're in for a treat. Tablature, which is generally the melody of songs, is a great format for playing instrumental versions of songs because it's laid out as the melody using single notes. In this episode, I'll share super simple tablature versions of some popular Christmas songs. Join my podcast club and you could win a $50 Guitar Center gift card. Just click the green Join the Club link in the show notes, join at the $10 level or higher, and you'll be automatically entered in the drawing. That's the green Join the Club link in the show notes for a chance to win a $50 Guitar Center gift card. But hurry, your membership must be received by 123121. The first song, Silent Night, was written in 1816 by Father Joseph Moore and composed by Franz Gruber in 1818. It was first performed in 1818 at the St. Nicholas Church in Salzburg, Austria. As the story goes, Father Moore brought the words to Mr. Gruber and asked him to compose a melody and guitar accompaniment for that evening's service after the church's organ was damaged. The song was first written in German and translated into English in 1863. This song has been performed by Bing Crosby and released as a single in 1935, selling more than 10 million copies. It's also been performed by Josh Groban in 2007, Mariah Carey in 2009, and most recently by Andrea Bocelli for 2020's The Disney Holiday Singalong. To play this tab, you'll mainly be playing on strings 1 and 2, with a few notes on strings 3 and 4. And you'll be playing in frets 7, 8, 9, and 10. If you need a refresher on how to play tablature, go to the episode on December 3, 2020, How to Play Tablature with Jingle Bells. And for more tablature information and details, Listen to my February 4th, 2021 episode, More About Guitar Tablature, Notations, and Symbols. By the way, if you like what you hear on this podcast show, please feel free to rate and review my podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It really helps the show. If you leave a comment, send me a quick email at marlene at marlenesmusic.com, letting me know you left a comment, and I'll give you a shout out on my social media. The next song I thought you might like to try is We Wish You a Merry Christmas. This song is a traditional English carol dating back to the 1500s. It became popular in the 1930s when English composer, conductor, and organist Arthur Worrell arranged the song for the University of Bristol Madrigal Singers. 
The history of this carol is unclear, but its origins are generally considered to lie in the English tradition of wealthy people in the community giving Christmas treats to carolers such as Figgy Pudding. It's been performed by Bing Crosby on his 1963 album, I Wish You a Merry Christmas, John Denver and the Muppets in 1979, the 1996 performance by Placido Domingo, Jose Carreras, Dion Warwick, and more during the best of Christmas music in Vienna, and by contemporary performer Enya in 2020. For this tablature, you'll be playing on strings 3, 4, and 5, and you'll be playing on frets 1, 2, and 3. If you'd like to see the tablature versions of both of these songs, you can go to my Thursday Tips blog. That link is in the show notes, or you can find it on my website, marlenesmusic.com. So just think, your holiday songs in tablature can be instrumental to your festivities. Don't forget to join my podcast club at the green Join the Club link for a chance to win a $50 Guitar Center gift card. This episode is brought to you in part by UMBS, the ultimate music business summit. It's an exciting event for the modern day musicpreneur. UMBS is a virtual event, and it will be held January 6th through 8th, 2022. Let us help you move the needle forward within your music business today. Visit musicsummit.biz to get your ticket now. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast, and as I like to say, play on.